Right, okay, I am finally back. Sorry about that, my internet was just being a complete piece of shit, so I had to shut the router off for like 10 minutes. Usually that's the end all fix, but that's usually the last resort as well. So I'm done with the bug fables for the moment. I would have played it for a bit longer, but those disconnections were just like kind of getting in the way, so I played a decent bit of it, like I guess about an hour and a half worth, I don't know. So we'll do some Dragon Quest now, hopefully my connection will be fine for the rest of the night. I haven't played Dragon Quest in quite some time. So I don't even remember what the last thing I did was. Wasn't it the part with the casino? The monster casino? I think that's what I did last in this game. This is also a game that I haven't played in months and I was unable to play it during December because of that bad cold that I got. So here we are. New year, let's resume. I don't even know if I'm going to do the post game for this game because it's already... Let me adjust the volume. It's already a long enough game as it is, so I don't know if I'll do a post game for this one. Not to mention I've got other games to catch up on. But let's uh, continue for now. We're in the middle of Act 2. We've got 47 hours logged. We have now reached Niflheim again, because I guess we need to go here for some reason, of which I forgot what. Right, so Melee's quest to find his lost friends and a way to Aborear continues. And while sailing along the salty stallion, he's surprised to find Eric stowed away in the hold. But the reunion isn't exactly a happy one, as it soon transpires that he has entirely lost his memory. Having welcomed him back into the fold, the friends must now seek out a means of alleviating Eric's amnesia. Yeah, that's right, Eric lost his memory. And we've only, like, the rest of the crew has only just found out about this, so that's kind of interesting. Gonna be a bit of a weird dynamic. So, I don't remember what I was supposed to do at Sniffleheim. Let me quickly consult. If I can remember what button it is, it's this one. Now then, laddie. The fall of Yggdrasil turned everything upside down. I just hope Queen Friesabel and the rest of the Snivelheimers are still safe. Come on now, laddie, let's go check out on Her Majesty. Kraken! I, th I, I was going to say that'll be the last time I make that reference, but it's, it's not going to be the last time. I'll keep referencing that. I just love this delivery on Kraken. By the way, when he says, oh look, there's a... What's his face? Shit, I forgot his name. I haven't played this game in like two, two months. Hmm. Sir Hendrik? Yeah, it's Sir Hendrik, isn't it? Is the chat working, by the way? In fact, I'm, I'm gonna have to test this real quick. Yeah, chat is still working, kind of. By the way, when... Uh... When, when he says Kraken, he's not talking about, like, a, a, a monster Kraken. He's, it's like a, kind of like a Scottish slash British term, or not a term, what would he call it? It's British slash Scottish slang for great. It's, it's kind of hard to explain. He's saying cracking, as in I'll get this cracking on, or I'll, I'll get cracking on with it, but... What he means is, that's great, when he says Kraken. It's it's difficult to explain, but that's basically the, what, what he means by that. I just find it funny, when he says it in the middle of a fight, he just goes, Kraken! Anyways. I thought the main square would be the best place to gather information, but there's not a single townsperson here to be seen. I hear them whispering in their homes, but no matter how loudly I knock, they refuse to open their doors. What in heaven's name happened here? Well, we can but continue to search the city. You do the same as the castle. Or at the castle. Yeah, I'm gonna be reading shit again. Thank god this game has, like, spoken cutscenes. Ah, you are the traveler who came here once before, are you not? I'm glad to see you well. Her Majesty has been very concerned for your safety. You must go inside and see her. Truth be told, our kingdom is currently beset by a terrible plague. If you could let the queen know that you are un unharmed, it would be one less thing for her to worry about.
What was her name again? Freezebel? Something like that. Welcome in, Traveller. Are you here to see the Queen? Then please proceed up the stairs. I am sure she'll be overjoyed to see you safe and well. If you wish to know what is happening in our kingdom, you must speak with Her Majesty. It is not my place to talk of our nation's woes with outsiders. Oh yeah, I remember this guy. Snorty. Ah, uh, how good it is to see you are alive and well, my friend. Have you already met with Queen, Fre Queen Friesebel? I am currently hard at work studying the strange plague that is spreading around Sniffleheim. Please, you must talk to Her Majesty. She'll be able to tell you more. Cheer up, Your Majesty. It might never happen. What's got you looking so glum? <gasps> oh yeah, there's a little text in this, isn't there? <laughs> Lord Rab! And your friends, too. I'm so happy to see you safe and well. Aye, the feeling's very much mutual. A lot's happened since last we met. Indeed. Yggdrasil has fallen. The world has been covered in darkness. Gold fever ravages my kingdom. But we survived. Some were not so lucky. What's that now? Gold fever? Is there something going on around these parts we should know about? There is. It all began a few weeks ago, you see. A strange disease started to spread across Sniffelheim. It affects people, animals, even plants. Anyone or anything that catches it turns entirely to gold. To... gold? We don't know what causes it, or how to cure it, so every one of my poor subjects lives in fear of being struck down next. I Sorry if you have that, there. I was trying to undo a bottle of water. every route out of the kingdom is blocked by great golden obstacles. We are completely cut off. My dear friend Kristalinda was studying the illness to try to find a cure. But in their panic, my people suspected her of spreading it instead. For her own safety, I was forced to lock her away in the dungeons. I have tried to tell my subjects she is innocent, but they simply will not listen. They are blinded by fear. This awful disease has turned my kingdom upside down. There, there, your majesty. Then he looks a crestfallen. We'll get to the bottom of this for you. Oh, thank you. You are always so very kind to me. I will let everybody in the city know that you are here to help, and that they must help you in turn. Take care, dear friends. Hmm. Gold. Why gold? Well, that's interesting. Everybody turning to gold for some reason. Right, so let's go around town and start talking to people. I guess they'll be willing to chat now that we've talked with the Queen. So yeah, I might be a bit rusty on this game because I haven't played it in like roughly two months. When was the last time I played this actually? I'm going to look that up. Ah, oh, there you are. Is everything alright? Mm, not exactly. You see... The Queen seemed awful sad. Mm. She told us actually, it's been a month since I last played this. December 8th mm. or December 7th. Ah. I streamed Hello, on the seventh. Do you have a minute to talk to us? We'd like to ask you a few questions. Do I have a minute? He asks. How can I know when every second might be my last? 
You do well to leave this place before you turn to gold, too. <gasps> Wait, I know you. You're that boy, Eric. Eric? You. you know me? Oh, don't be silly. Everyone in Sniffleheim knows you. You're the. <gasps> Oh, no, this can't be happening. Oh. What's the matter, dear? Uh, are you okay? It's... It's... Got me. Oh. Must quickly go into dramatic pose. So I can look eternally cool. I take it this is a case of gold fever. It's horrible. Eric, honey, are you okay? Tell me where it hurts. It's pretty obvious by him clenching his head that his head hurts. I heard a commotion and came running. I never thought that I would find you here. Do you know our friend, Father? He's an old pal of ours, but we lost him after the fall. And I fear he's taken a blow to the head somewhere along the way. He doesn't remember a thing about his life before then. Oh, my poor child. Perhaps I can help to jog your friend's memory. Come to the church by the city gates, and I will tell you what I know of his past. Yeah, let's just ignore the golden statue of the old lady sitting there. You know, I'm kind of surprised that golden statue is still standing, because without the mechanics of, like, being able to balance yourself, that thing should topple over. But, whatever. Yeah, there it is there. I wonder. <laughs> Did you see Rob there for a second? Uh, how do I change positions? X button. Why do I why do I do shit like this? Yeah, let's let's take a, a memorable photo, a happy moment of like a tragedy. Okay, so I guess the the priest is went the, the priest went this way. Yeah, I think it's where that pink dot is. The Reverend Fowler told me that he was to speak with you. We'll find him in the vestry, the room in the back of the church. Please let yourselves in. Ah, there you are. I am glad to see you safe and well, Eric. It has been five long years since last we met. I was here five years ago? Did I used to live here or something? Not quite. The Viking raiders, who once roamed the northern seas, would often stop here to buy supplies, or to drink away their ill-gotten gains at the inn. And when they came, Eric, you came with them. Uh, I'm a Viking? So that is why the men I sent to scour Heliodor for details of your origin would always return empty-handed. You were born here, a Viking. Not born one. Eric and his younger sister were orphans. The Vikings found them, took them in, and raised them as their own. 
Whether that was for good or bad, I really couldn't say. By all accounts, they treated the poor children like slaves. Then, one day, we heard rumors that Eric's sister had passed away. And though the Vikings returned, Eric never did. Stop. It has always saddened me that I was not able to help those poor children more. Perhaps if I can help you to recover Eric's memories, it might... I said stop! I need to be alone for a while. Uh, forgive me. It was tactless of me to reveal so much so soon. Uh, please, go to your friend. I will join you when he has had a chance to settle down. Got anything hiding in here that I can take? Nope, nothing of importance. Your friend with the blue hair just ran through here in a tremendous hurry. What in the world happened in there? Yeah, Eric seems to have gone through a lot. So he was adopted as a Viking. Or he was adopted by the Vikings to be raised as one. Interesting. I wonder how he got away from the Vikings because when we saw him at the start of the game he was not with them. The snow ones start piling up here. We wait for the fever to go Why we wait for the fever to go away. If I don't keep clearing it away, we'd be blocked in completely. By the way, I saw your friend running through the back gate over there. He had a face like thunder. There's nothing on that side of Sniffleheim apart from the cliff that looks out over the bay. I wonder what he could be doing out there. Oh yeah, the, the Viking hideout was back here, wasn't it? At least it was nearby somewhere. I forgot exactly where it was. Huh? Hey, I'm sorry I ran off like that. It's just. <coughs> Whoa, what's with those circles above the A's? Was that a glitch? Oh, here comes some monsters. Skellingtons. That ship, if the townspeople's shouts are anything to go by, it is not a welcome sight. Huh? I will take care of Eric. Please, you must hurry to the harbor. <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen golden skeletons up to this point. Empty your pockets, sniveling Sniffleheimers. It's time to pay tribute to the great and glorious Kildegoth. All your gold belongs to us. Come on, you cluttering curs, let's get to work. Grab the golden statues and load them into the longboat. Might as well do a quick save before we go back in there and deal with those golden monsters. Who's my party right now? Right, okay, yeah, I'll keep them on for now. Prove it, metal-headed moron! 
Hans. Get the statue back to the ship. You don't want to keep Gildiger waiting. <sighs> the monsters are making away with the people who were turned to gold. Could the fever be there doing? What are you looking at? Mess with us, and you'll have to answer to the great and glorious Gildiger, shining star of the Spectral Sentinels. Cease your boastful blustering, fiend! You dare disturb the peace of this fair nation? Then it is you who shall answer to us! <laughs> you think you can stop us, feeble flesh bags? You're not even worth stealing! The boss only likes two kinds of humans. Gold ones and dead ones. Let's bury them, boys! Right, here we go. First fight of the night. And it's an event battle. I guess Metal Slash would work on these guys. What was the best one that you can do? Was it Parallax? Yeah, I think it was Parallax that did like a shit ton of damage. Let's do that on the middle guy. Yeah, there we go. That's a really strong attack. Everybody else can focus on the side ones. Oh shit, didn't mean to slight defend, whatever. Too late now. Just wanna speed this up a little bit. Because why not? I like how we killed the leader before we killed the the minion. And now the minion is dead. Well that was easy. <laughs> Their companions are fleeing! After them! <laughs> <laughs> Over there. <laughs> uh oh. Eric! They've got Eric! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! How? Why? Never mind why. They must be stopped. Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> We were too slow. Oh, Eric. Get on your boat and go after them then. We are getting that boy back and we are doing it right now. Where's that priest? He'll know where they've taken him. <laughs> okay then. Rather than just get on the boat and like start chasing them, they're just going to go back and ask the priest. Because I'm pretty sure that makes sense. Where was the... the... Uh, yeah, it was here, wasn't it? Is where the priest was. No idea how he got kidnapped, he was standing way off to the side. Oh, wait. 
Okay, the priest is not in here anymore. I guess he might be back at the castle then. Maybe, maybe it'll show where he is on the map once I get outside the castle. He'll be here somewhere, I just don't know where he is. Oh, he must be where Eric was standing then, because I can see a pink dot way over there. Sorry, the creatures found us, and I was powerless to stop them taking Eric away. Please, do not be so hard on yourself, Father. It is a miracle that even you escaped with your life. When we heard that you were outside the gates when the monsters attacked, we feared the worst. Curse those sparkling scoundrels! They have run away with every man, woman, and child struck down by the fever. They just picked them up and carried them off like so much plunder. Do they mean to sell our friends, our families? But then why would they take Eric? He had no valuables in his possession, and he was not afflicted by the fever. And yet, they headed straight for him. It is almost as if they knew exactly who he was. Wait a moment. The way they spoke, the ship they sailed in, could they be? You know, I had the very same thought. Yes, I thought maybe those things had usurped the villains, but it seems they... Are them, but how? Hmm. Those gold hungry horrors. They may look different, but we know them. We know them very well indeed. The way they moved, acted, talked, the fact that they knew who Eric was. There is no mistaking it. They were Vikings. They used to have a hideout near here, in a little cave just around the headland. I think that is where they have taken your friend. Alright then, well let's go back there, right after I heal myself. I've gone up one level since the last time I saved here. Through a single fight, no less. Where did I park my boat anyway? I don't remember where it went. Oh no, my boat is over here. Oh, I see, it's way over there. I just need to use Davy to take me there. Watch your boss going back to Astelli, then, is it? Davy, best character. Davy, MVP. 
He's the true hero of Dragon Quest XI. Everybody knows that. Oh yeah, that's right, there was a gold thing that blocked the way in here. I don't remember how I got around that, but we got around it somehow. So I haven't died yet in this game, but I feel like I'm going to die in an, a future stream, like a very near future stream, if not this one tonight. I don't know why I get that feeling, it's just because I've not actually died yet in this game. I mean, technically some of my party members have fallen, but I've not gotten a game over in a fight. Although I've come close a couple times. Like that Kraken fight! I also almost died to that dragon with the lisp. Whatever that thing was called again. Fist and be merry, boys. We got a good haul today. The guild diggers sure to reward us. What, reward you with gold? We did especially well to bag this one. The boss has been after him for a long time. <laughs> I'm guessing Eric has got like some deep dark secret that this guy needs. I don't know. Guess we're going to be finding out more about Eric very soon. Right, here we go. I'm just going to keep my party as it is for now. I like my current setup. Hey, what the heck are you doing here? Wait, I know you. I know you. You just killed me five minutes ago. You're dead right, Chief. He looks just like the picture on the wanted poster. He's the luminary, all right. I'll run up to the Gilden Hall and let the boss know he's here. <laughs> Seems you're quite the celebrity, darling. I can't say I'm not jealous. This is no time for jokes, Silvando. We're here to rescue Eric, remember? <laughs> <laughs> you think you're going to plunder our plunder? Just try it. We'll beat you blacker and bluer than the Lord of Shadows did. Just imagine the reward you'd get if you took him the luminary's head on a platter. One of those empty spectral sentinel seats could be yours. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Come on then, boys. Let's swipe ourselves a skull that's worth its weight in gold. I thought that said Gildan bitches for a moment there. Oh nice, uh, Hendrik is still pepped up. she has anything that can hit multiple enemies at once. Shit. At least the middle one is stunned. Oh, did I get another shot? Okay. Gonna parallax Gildan birches again. <laughs> oh wow, she actually killed someone. Down. 
Sorry to leave you stewing in there, laddie. They didn't hurt you, did they? Well, you're safe now. Let's head back to Sniffelheim. The priest's worried sick about you. Aye. Something is still not right. Eric, what did those fiends do to you? I was... here. And they were... Yeah. So... she must be... I've... Gotta go. <sighs> what was all that about, hmm? Come on, darling. We'd better get after him. I've got a feeling we're going to run into the, uh, the big cheese shortly. What was his name again? Gildigan or something like that? At least I can heal and save before we actually do that. Entirely sure where he went. I guess he went up this way. I don't know why this didn't just go back to the boat, but okay then. Wait a minute. Are we going the right way here? Oh, there he is. Right, okay. Oh, there's a. There's an Igrisol branch route. I guess we're going to learn some backstory about Eric, or the Vikings, yeah. What's the matter, Runt? Tired? You soon will be. You got a problem, boy? We've been looking after your brats for ten long years, ever since we found you freezing in that snowfield. You owe us your lives, so how about you start showing us some respect? Y yes Chief. Sorry, Chief. Trouble again? You know what your problem is, dear brother? You need to learn to grovel more convincingly. Huh? <laughs> is that a sister? Hey, Mia. I know how you feel, though. I hate their big fat guts as much as you do. <gasps> Shh. Oh. Don't be such a scaredy cat. Just hurry up and finish your work so we can go home. Tell you what, since I'm such a good sister, I'll stick around and cheer you on. Woo! 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 <laughs> the only reason the Chief's working me so hard today is because you got caught with your hand in his coin purse. You could at least help. <laughs> Make me. Uh -oh. <sighs> <sighs> Me and my big mouth. <sighs> yeah, 
Thanks for the help, Mia. Look at the low resolution ground they're lying on. Oh, stop moaning, will you? If you keep being horrible to me, I won't share any of my riches with you when I'm a millionaire. <sighs> oh, not that again. Still, I guess it's good to have a dream. I can see the individual pixels that that texture. We're gonna get our hands on a whole pile of treasure, and then we can wave this lousy place goodbye. <laughs> Forget a pile. I'm not gonna stop till I've got myself a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> But first things first, we gotta find something to eat. Huh. If we had wings, we could fly away from here. We could go wherever we wanted. Uh, uh, what are you, five? You won't be flying anywhere on an empty stomach. Know what I think when I look at that thing? Dinner. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we finally get to see... Oh, hi Eric. We finally get to see what Eric's sister looks like after all this time. Mia. So it's just like what the priest said. Eric used to live here when his, with his wee sister, slaving away for the Vikings. Looks like they had a tough time of it. His sister's name was Mia, was it not? The shack must have been their home, if you can call it that. Go on, laddie. Try touching that root again. Maybe it will show us a bit more of their past. Sure thing. Time for round two of Eric's backstory. Something I picked up on today's raid. No birthday's complete without a present, right? Happy birthday, sis. Huh? Is this the best you can do? A rusty old necklace? Honestly, Eric, you need to try harder. What I really wanted was the red orb of Heliodor. Word is, it's a ruby the size of my head. Well, word is that necklace has special powers. They say that whoever wears it will find gold at their fingertips wherever they go. It's probably just talk, but it seemed about right for a little money grubber like you. I guess you'll just have to put it on and find out if... What the... Where did you get that from? I don't know. It was a copper coin a minute ago. But as soon as I touched it... It... Well, that's interesting. A necklace that essentially makes you Midas. 
That's right. It was... all my fault. Eric and his sister might have wound up... each other... might have wound each other up, but it's as plain as the nose on your face that they cared for each other very deeply. After all, he wouldn't have brought her back with that necklace if he didn't care. A necklace that turned everything she touched into gold, no less. There's a mighty powerful thing to do in the hands of a young lassie like her. Go on now, try touching the Yggdrasil root once again. I'm keen to see how the story ends. I would assume not very well, but let's... Oh, no Hendrik. I don't want to talk to you right now, shut up. But yeah, let's see what happens, let's see where this goes. I have my suspicions though. Not only are we getting two, but we're getting three segments to this story. That's how long it is. You've been at it again, huh? <laughs> What's the matter, Eric? Jealous of my treasures? Tell you what, if you ask me really, really nicely, I'll let you have one. Let me see now. Um. Ah, perfect! Huh? Wow. Is that the same seagull as before? Wait. You didn't. Did you? Mia, this isn't right. Yeah, I suppose it is a little small. I forget how greedy you are. Seriously, Mia, it's not funny. This has to stop. Hey! There's no need to shout. And anyway, you're the one that gave me this thing. Oh. Hmm. <sighs> okay, okay, I get it. I guess I have been getting a little carried away. Just stop looking at me like that, will you? <sighs> I'm sorry I lost my cool, okay? It's just... <sighs> no, no, it's fine. I'll stop turning stuff into gold. For now. <sighs> huh? What's wrong? The necklace! It won't come off! Come on, Mia, stop fooling around! <laughs> I'm serious! I can't get it off! <gasps> what? What's happening now? I didn't do anything, I swear! Oh shit. Don't move. Damn it. What the hell's going on? Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen to her. Oh, 
so consumed by the gold that she became gold. <laughs> Poor Eric. I'm assuming that's all of the story now. Let's have a word with Eric. And then this must be the very spot where it all transpired. It was all my fault. After what happened, I ran away. I wanted to leave this place. To leave my past behind. I asked around about the necklace on my travels, and finally found out what it was. I'd given my sister a cursed relic. I wanted to forget who I was, and what I'd done. So I threw myself into any adventure that came along, and before I knew it, I was living as a thief. That's when I met him. The guy who called himself the Seer. He told me to go after the orb, that if I did, I'd meet the luminary somewhere deep underground. And that if I helped him, I'd finally be forgiven. At first, I didn't believe a word of it. The kind of circles I was moving in, you learn pretty quickly not to trust anyone but yourself. But sure enough, I went after the orb, I wound up underground, and... I met you. Oh. <gasps> Your memory, laddie. It's back. It is. Thanks to you guys. Guess I've been kind of a pain these last few days, huh? I'll make it up to you, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows if I'll ever find the forgiveness the seer promised me. But everything else he said came true. Maybe that will too. You saw it, right? The statue my sister turned into was right here. If this Gildigger guy is collecting all the gold he can get his hands on, maybe he took her too. I heard those golden goons saying he's holed up in a castle north of here. I'm gonna get me a back if it's the last thing I do. Then it looks like we're all headed the same way. After all, we've got some Sniffleheimers to rescue, right? Hmm. Thanks again, you guys. It's good to be back. Hmm. Right, well that's cool, now we can finally use them again. So I'm trying to think, is that all of our members now, or are we missing a couple people? I forgot. Eric might have been the last one, actually. Now that his memory is restored, Eric remembers all of the skills he used to know. Excellent. I'm guessing he's also leveled up several times to scale with everybody else. How do I do party swap? Yeah, he has skilled up with everyone else. Yeah, I'm gonna have Eric in my party for a while. Let's see if I've got any good equipment for him. Maybe I have to make something. Wait a minute, is there a... Well, oh, the castle's up ahead. I'm trying to think if there's a place where I can craft ship for him, but I don't think. Maybe there's a... Maybe there's a... what do you call it? A campfire nearby? I can't see it on the map, but maybe I need to go a bit further to see it. Right, before I do anything, let's um, see if I've got anything on hand I can give him. Wait, I thought he could, like, dual wield.
Wow, he's got a lot of points. Oh, wait, I need to respec him. Right, okay, that's why. Right, boomerangs. Where's the one where I can do wield? Because I want to get that back. Maybe it's under Guile? Yeah, I don't remember where this thing that I'm thinking of is at. You'll have to bear with me then while I try looking for this. See, I'm not sure if it falls under the boomerangs or if it's like under one of the other things. Because it could be this question mark, it could be that question mark, it could be one of these things. I'm just going to assume it's under the boomerang umbrella, so we're going to go that way. So I'll need to spend some points this way. Let's see which ones cost the less, the least. Nine, four, six, seven. Right, okay, we'll get the four, six, and seven then. Just don't want to spend too much of my points right now so that I can get what I need. Metal bodied foes, that's going to help. Metal medley. Nope, that's not the one I'm looking for. Could be this one, maybe. Yeah, I may have to respec if I don't get this right. I don't know how to get him to do a wield then. Oh nice, I got some extra skill points. So wait a minute, why can't I get any of this shit over here? Thought I had to fill these two adjacent ones, but okay. Wait, what's the middle one? Is that something? No, that's nothing. God, that sucks. Oh wait, there it is, dual wielding. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that. Wait a minute. Time to do some quick math. I think I can make that. But wait, this falls under knives, does that even work? I mean, I could try. I could have I sworn he was dual wielding boomerangs before. Let's try going this way. I've got just enough to buy this. Why is dual wielding under knives? Right, okay, well it says I can wield two weapons, it doesn't say two knives. Now let's try... 
shit, where is it? Let's try equipping my bo my second boomerang. There we go. No, Eric is back. I'm gonna go back and save real quick before we continue. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm gonna go back into the Viking cavern and save. Wait. Oh, wait, I was going the right way. Well, he did lose his memory, that's true. I just figure, for convenience sake, the game would remember what his skill set was. Because I honestly don't remember what I did different from before. Like, even if I did play this game more frequently, it has been quite a while since I last specced him, so... But, we're fine. I got everything I need now, so we're gonna continue on to the castle. Might be able to finish this story arc tonight, possibly. I think I'll spend like another hour or two on this. So who's close to levelling up at this point? How do I find that out again? Attributes? Right, Hendrik's about to level up. E Eric's not far away. Rap's not too far away. Right, okay. Oh shit! I didn't stand close enough to slash him. Whatever. I see what they did there with I, mm, I see what they did there with the monster's name, Ulcer Major. Ursar Major, sorry. the double boomerang that I like using so much. Our triumph was never in diligence is its own reward. <laughs> Cutscene with no dialogue. I turned the volume up there for a brief moment, you probably heard that, because I usually do that for voice cutscenes. Gilden Hull. Alright, guess we're going in the middle door then. Oh shit, there's a golden golem. A golden. Metal liquor. Let's see how strong this is against the gold golem. Okay, that didn't work too well. I mean, it hit the other two, but that's not what the intent was. Wow, that's not very good, is it? That might be more for metal slimes and not golden enemies, but whatever. You would think it would work because metal is metal. Oof. And Eric is almost dead.
Yeah, every monster in here is gold. Not really surprised by that. Ready, go. Did Eric just become Sonic there for a second? Ready, go! Oh yeah, there's rumours right now that the next main Sonic game that's going to be coming out is going to be a remake of Sonic Adventure. I don't know what the validity of this rumour is, like if it's got any credence to it. I'm going to remain sceptical, like we're going to, like I think a new Sonic game is happening this year but we don't really know anything about it yet. I'd be down for a remake of Sonic Adventure if it's done well. Like, not like a remastering, but more like a reimagining, kind of like RE2. I'd be, like, I'd be, I'd be cool with that. I would like to see a new, a 3D Sonic game that's like, reinventing like the 3D gameplay, because I think, as much as I like the boost formula from Sonic Colors and Sonic Unleashed and Sonic Generations, I feel like the boost formula gameplay has kind of like run its course, especially with Sonic Forces, so I would like to see them do something different for the next 3D Sonic game whenever that comes out. Ah shit. Well that kind of sucks. Okay, that even su that sucks even more. Leave it to me. My Please die. Okay, good. Insulate? No idea what that is. Was that Rab that got that? I don't remember how to check individual abilities. Oh, here we go. In insulatal? In inso. Yeah, insulatal or insulatal. Forms a barrier that protects all party members from breath attacks. Okay then. Don't know if I'll be using that tonight. Probably not. I'm gonna guess this door is locked from the other side. Nope, I can open that. But that one, that one is, fuck. Alright, let's go upstairs. Kind of a mini dungeon here, so we could be here for an hour. Well, maybe not that long, but we'll be here for a bit before we get to the boss. That's not that's not my dog, is it? I, I don't remember what the name of that dog is, but that sucks. <laughs> Ten casino tokens. Yeah, I think after that last session I did of this game, I don't think I want to see a casino machine ever again. All those golden tokens I could have had. Gone. Disappeared. You bastards. Fucking stealing my MP from me. Yeah, thankfully these guys are pushovers compared to the skeletons. Yeah, I know they're freaks. They just looked real though. Down. 
Good going, Hendrik. <laughs> Found a nugget. I think that's it. This will go by in a flash. Yeah, the golden mannequins don't really seem that much stronger, defense-wise. I knew that was... I knew that was gonna be the... I knew that was like a golem. I was half expecting it to come up from the ground, but it didn't. You just walk into it and to start the fight. Jesus. Yeah, fuck you, Golem. I love that healing shortcut. That's not Sylvando's horse, is it? There's that cracking. I was waiting for that. Another day, another victory. Shame it kind of got drowned out by all those like slashy sound effects, but still I heard it. Oh, there's that. <laughs> there's that old woman that we saw earlier. She gets her own podium and everything, and like fucking museum like security ropes. There we go. Feel free to uh, feel free to say things other than just emoticons if you want in the chat. There's only so much communication you can do with just faces, you know. Yeah, it can be a bit of a dick sometimes when it comes to, like, taking photos. It's like, oh, look at this tragedy, we're all having a fun time while they're, like, dead. Well, temporarily dead. This door is locked from the other side. Okay. Is this one opened? Yep, we can open that. Oh, that's the one that takes us back to the middle room. Right, that's good. Shortcut created. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where I'm going. I guess I need to go upstairs now. Like I said, I'm probably going to be here for a while while I try to figure out the, where I'm supposed to be going. I don't know if I... Is that slot machines? Like, sentient slot machines? Yeah, I haven't fought these things yet. Those are new for the bestiary. A penny pincher. I imagine those things steal your money, based off their name. And the fact that, like, a slot machine, by its very nature, is supposed to take your money. Oh, 
Oh wait a minute, we just came from upstairs, didn't we? Or did I just got turned around there? Guilt gear. Learn how to make gold circlets, and that's it. I thought there was going to be like more to it than that. Yeah. Fuck. Victory will be ours. Let's I'm about this. to run out of my pet power, so I might as well use it now. Didn't even kill either of them yet. Okay, that one's dead. Jesus. I hate that attack. Wow, thanks he thanks Hen uh, Hendrik. Thanks, Eric. And Hendrik is dead. Oh, right, I'm not really gonna have to start killing it now. The dust. Wow, that, that gold golem was being especially aggressive there. Got some gold ore at least. I hope there's a healing point once I eventually get through this labyrinth. Wait, that's not the same seagull that uh, Mia f uh, turned into gold. Like that one's actually got its wings spread. Wait a minute. Right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna leave the place and come back. Just to see if all the shortcuts have been opened up. If not, I'll just like rush like I'll rush by by all the enemies so that I can like try. Please still be opened. Right, good, it's still openable. Or wait, no that that one was already openable. It's the, the, not this door, but the next one. See, I want to go back to the Viking Cavern so I can, like, heal myself. Right, good, yeah, these are still openable. In fact, you know what, let's keep going forward for now. I've still got a good bit of reserves left. Just trying to figure out exactly where I'm supposed to be headed. I guess I need to go in there. Through the other side. Oh, I think I missed this set of stairs. Right, well that's that opened at least. Oi! Want some. <laughs> right, who's close to leveling up? Right, I'm about to level up. And a couple levels are not too far away. No. 
another victory. I do not speak Spanish, sorry. I only speak English. Even then, I can't speak English very well. I speak in a Scottish accent. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. I do not speak Spanish. Sorry. English is my only language. Look out below. We have carried the day. Oh god damn it. I tried my best to avoid running into him. There we go. <laughs> I like that. Can I get a photo opportunity with this? Oh, nice. Uh, nobody else in the picture though, but... No, I do not speak Spanish. Oh, I see. Right, so I can break shit with this. Can I smash walls? No, I could probably open doors though. So yeah, we haven't seen this yet. Or we can... Let me try opening that door real quick. So yeah, we haven't seen his rideable golem yet. Be it gold or otherwise. Shit. I was gonna try to punch him. Let's do it. Oh, piss off. <laughs> Fucking stupid flea. Fleeing never works in this game, like. You know how in most games fleeing gives you a decent chance of leaving? This game it very fucking rarely works. Like trust me, there's a very low chance of running away first time. I don't know why, but it just never seems to work your first try. I mean it does sometimes, but it never really works most of the time. It's a pain in the ass. Oh yeah. I'm not I'm not sure why I'm watching an English stream when the stream is clearly marked by the like by someone that speaks English. I do not speak English. I mean I do not speak Spanish is what I'm trying to say. I wish I could. I wish I could like communicate with you, but I can't. Where am I going even? I mean, I guess I can't speak English as well, like, you've helped me stumble and stutter. Ah, let me uh, get off this so I can open that door for him. Is this door locked? Nope, I can open that. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to take this golem to, but I imagine I need to take him somewhere. Oh, 
Oh fuck. Oh, I can open it while the golem's like carrying me. I didn't realize I could do that. Nice. So you get you can knock out smaller enemies with him as well. I tried to do that earlier. Take him home and make him your pet. As soon as I kill this boss, all the gold stuff is like gonna vanish, I guess. Right, so I've not been in here yet because that door was not unlocked. Or. Right, never mind. Right, well, there's this bit at the top right that I've not been to yet. Oh, there's a level 3. How do I get up there? Level 3 is the throne room. Right, I guess we're taking you upstairs then. Shit. Can I just fucking use the golem to punch him? That would be nice. I mean, once we get into the battle, just do it. I think we're due for another level up for someone. Yeah, Rab and Sylvando are not too far away. Actually, I think this takes me up to level 3. Shit. I was hoping that would contain tokens. Accept your fate. Wow. I got lucky. At least I'm getting healed every turn. Right, okay then. Onward and upwards. I hope there's a healing statue up here because I don't know if I want to go all the way back. A healing statue or like a save point. So even though those are fakes, I can't actually harm them before I inspect them. Right, we're almost there. Wait, is another floor above me? Yeah. Probably a safe spot right before I go up there. Yeah, he changed his mind right fucking quick as soon as he saw what was coming toward him. Yeah, fuck this shit, I'm out. And despite being made of solid gold, he phases out of existence, like right through the wall. He doesn't want to deal with us. What's your favourite game? Uh, I'm not sure actually, like, there's a million great games out there, I'm trying to think. I mean, one of my all-time favourite games is Link's Awakening, but I don't know if that's like my end-all, be-all favourite game. I absolutely love Super Mario World, that's another great one. Okay, so I don't see a safe statue here, so I think I'm gonna go back and look for one. I'm kind of worried as soon as I open that door, a boss fight's going to start.
found a gold bar. Alright then. Can I break the door with him? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is get off this thing. I want to do something, but I'm trying to remember how you do it. That's not it. Bear with me. Yeah, I'm just going to go back to the entrance of the dungeon now that I've unlocked all the doors. I'm going to go back to the Viking cave, heal myself, save, and then we'll come back here. Because now I know how to get to the, the throne room. Oh, wrong way. Right, so we're just about ready to take on the boss. I just need to go quickly heal myself, so I've got full MP and full HP. wonder if anyone's close to leveling up right now. I could... Wow. Zero experience until next level up. I've never seen that before. Right, let me quickly grind out Rab, because he's only like 4,000 experience away from leveling up. That would come in handy for the fight coming up. Right, and now let's uh, Vandal level up. I didn't even know it would say zero, I thought like it would say one before it levels up. Like one point left. There we go. I mean, the game could give me a safe statue in a healing spot when I go through the door into the throne room. But I don't want to take that chance, I'd rather make sure I do it back here. Just in case. Also, I think I remember the name of that dragon with the lisp that almost killed me that one time. I think it's called Lavarith. That was the one other time where I almost got a game over in this game. 
Again, I'm surprised I'm like almost 50 hours into this and I haven't got one game over so far. But again, it's probably going to happen soon. If not tonight, I think one of the next couple streams it's going to happen because it kind of feels like it's going to be inevitable. Because I suck at video games. At most, I could see it happening on the final boss when I eventually get to that, but that's not going to be for a while. Right, well it seems most enemies have been wiped out, thankfully. Not all of them, but a good chunk of them. So that saved me a lot of trouble getting back up here. Oh. I would like to avoid some confrontations right now. Here we go. Oh shit. Is that Mia? She was the villain all along. Mia? Call me that again and you'll regret it. I haven't been Mia for a long time. The name's Gildiga. Wait, you're... Yes, well done. I'm the big baddie. It was all me. Gold fever, stealing all the statues. Me, me, me. What's the matter, dear brother? Aren't you happy to see your little sister doing so well for herself? Anyway, what are you doing out of your cage? I wasn't planning on having my men bring you here till later. <laughs> you have every right to hate me, Mia. I hate myself for what I did to you. But the Vikings? The fever? Why would you do all this? Oh, questions, questions. Always with the questions. Fine. If you're so desperate to know, then I'll tell you. It all began when the World Tree fell from the sky, and the Lord of Shadows went to visit a certain lucky girl. Time for some more backstory. I think this is the most backstory we've seen in a single story arc. Forced to slave away in poverty, in cold, in hunger. Abandoned by your parents, by your guardians, by your brother. Your young heart overflows with greed, with rage, with despair. You will make a splendid addition to my world of darkness. I am Mordigan. Lord of Shadows, ruler of all Erdria. Come, child, drink of my power and be reborn. Is this the first time we get to hear Mordigan's voice? I'm not even sure.
Oh, okay, it's not my dog. Thank God. <laughs> Monster do to you. Monster? <laughs> He's not the one who left his sister to rot all alone in a cave. Thanks to that monster, I'm here today. Thanks to him, I have all the gold, all the power I ever wanted. And more. And for my next trick, I'm going to turn everyone in the world into golden soldiers, just like those stupid Vikings, and work them all to the bone. Ah, oh, so you really did turn the chief and his men into your slaves. What's happened to you? <laughs> you really think you deserve to know? After all you've done, I'll show you what you deserve. I'm glad this is one of those games where the controller doesn't vibrate while it's sitting on the table during cutscenes. Because usually during long cutscenes I like to sit the controller down. So I'm thankful that it don't vibrate, that it doesn't vibrate during this. I've thought about you every day for the last five years. The thought of saving you was the only thing that kept me going. It's all my fault. All of this. Everything that's happened to you. Which means I have to finish this. I have to take you down. Now you decide to play the hero? You're too late. You couldn't save me, and you can't save yourself. Or your pathetic little friends. Why can't you all just leave me alone? I don't need a brother, or a hero, or anyone! You're worthless to me, but you'll be worth your weight in gold! I hate to break it to you, but somebody already made that pun. Alright, here we go, boss fight. I hate you, Aaron. I hate everyone! Let's go! Wow, good going, Eric. The fucking MVP right there. Oh, this might be scripted actually. Oh, never mind. They're just they just suck they just suck, that's all. Oof. Oof. <laughs> I, I hope this is temporary, otherwise I'm going to be in trouble, that's that's not good. Jesus. Right, okay, at least it returns you eventually.
can't believe it hit everybody but the fucking boss. I mean, at least it did something, but that's not at all what I was hoping for. At least I got rid of the Skellingtons. Right, okay. Should probably heal myself, actually. Still waiting for Rap to come to. There we go. Can he do Oomphal? Or Oomph? No, right, okay. Starting to regret having Eric in my party because the reason I had, um, shit, what's his name? Silvando. The reason I had Silvando in my party was because he was good at buffing other party members, but replacing him with Eric may have not been the best idea. Nah, this is the, oh, this is worthless. I mean, multi heal is great in Pearly Gates, but it's not exactly what I was looking for in that moment. I hate that attack though. That one sucks. Yeah, the boomerangs may have a little accuracy. Uh. I'm surprised he didn't die to that. A risky move I'm doing there, but this might help. If I can get some parallaxes and giga slashes in, that might work. Yeah, that could have been better. Wow. Hendrik, don't die. We need to fight and fight. My thanks. Please do over two hundred. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of worth it. 3-5-3, three, three, that's really strong. Uh, what, what do I do with you, though? I wish Eric had some healing spells, but he does not. Fucking hell. We need to fight and fight. My friends. I've got a feeling if I don't kill this thing within the next few turns, things are going to quickly go to shit.
at least Hendrik is still fine. This could be make or break time. 376. So strong. Yeah, I'm gonna play it safe. It's gonna keep healing us. Oh, it only works for ones who are not gold. Shit. I mean, the other two are fully healed anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yep. Just weighing my options here. I'm gonna keep Hendrik healing because he can easily be wiped out if he's not fully healed. This might be it. This could be the one. Ah, oh, shit. Really? What happened to all of his other strength? I guess it wore off. Look out, but the boss is almost dead. Its name is Red now, so we're in. We're pretty much in the final stretch. I'm just gonna go full aggro. The Dereja of Dundrazil, a strange song from Dundrazil that can even send metal monsters to sleep. Eh, I'll give it a try. What's the worst that could happen? Oh nice! It actually worked on the boss. That came at the perfect time. 99. Oh, it's paralysed now! Yeah, I think we got this. I didn't even know you could, like, put a boss monster to sleep or paralyze it. If the thing's coming up in Millhouse. Oof. Rip rap though. But I think we're in the clear as long as I can get one more hit on it. Oh. Wait a minute. Okay, we'll never mind about that last parallax hit. I'll just do that instead. Nah, I'm not going to do that again. I'm just going to play it safe and do Giga Slash. I think that works better. Wow, really? You're still not dead? go. <laughs> Core sales cap. Not sure what that is, but okay. Shame Rap didn't get any of that experience, but whatever. At least I didn't get a game over.
Are you two all right? The poor wee thing's lost control of her power. If we can't stop her, gold fever's gonna spread like wildfire. I can't let that happen. This is all my fault. I'm sorry, Mia. I have to end this. Eric is readying himself to launch a final decisive strike against Gildiga. Nate doesn't look too happy about it. Stop him from going ahead. <coughs> Excuse me. Stop him from going ahead with his plan. This is all my fault. I'm sorry, Mia, but I have to end this. Eric, help me. Wait, what? I guess I'm forced to say yes then, okay. I can't do it. She's my kid sister. I have to try and save her. used to be when we'd fight and laugh and fight some more when all we had was each other we didn't need money we didn't need anything I don't care how poor and cold and hungry we were I want it back I don't need this I don't need gold Are we really going the Detective Pikachu? Why did I say Detective? Are we really going the Pikachu Tears Deus Ex Machina from the first Pokemon movie? Is that how we resolve this? Yeah. Eric is Ash and Mia is fucking Pikachu in this situation. <laughs> nice work, Eric. Just lost us a fortune. a bit of a very cheesy way to wrap that up. <sighs> oh nice, there's the there's the orb, the Dragon Ball. How many are we up to now? Like four? <laughs> I lost count. I think we're up to like three or four now. Hmm. <sighs> 
Your sister was a vessel for a power beyond human understanding. It has taken a terrible toll. We must let her rest. But do not fear, my child. Her life is not in danger. In time, she will recover. I owe you. Mia owes you. Here. You should have this. The seer told me that if I helped the luminary, I'd find forgiveness. Guess he knew what he was talking about, huh? <laughs> We'd better make a move. Mia's safe here for now, which is good, because I've got things to be getting on with. Like helping you take Mortigan down. Let's hit the road, partner. Having found forgiveness at last, Eric gets a new lease on life. New panels have begun unlocking for the character builder. Oh, so it's those parts that were locked away previously. Uh, okay then, cool. Wow, they didn't even give me the courtesy to heal my characters. Rab is still fucking dead. I mean, close enough to dead. I mean, if he's like 80 years old and he's got 1 HP, he might as well be, am I right? Uh, let me find a campfire, I guess there's one outside. I should probably buy equipment while I'm here as well, I'll do that before I wrap up. But I want to heal myself, real quick. Right, well overall that was a pretty good little story arc there. Basically an anime version of like King Midas, like the, the story of King Midas. You don't really see that very often, do you? Uh, wh where is the shop? Oh, the shop's all that way. I should probably, yeah, buy, I should buy some shit for Eric because I think he's like underpowered right now. Like those boomerangs I, I've got on him are like older ones. And I've got so much money on hand right now that I might as well start spending it. Icicle Dirk. Good, good name. Uh, that's like the strongest boomerang I can see in here. Wait a minute. Surely there's better boomerangs somewhere that I haven't seen. I mean, here's one. A star cross. Quite expensive though to buy two of those. I may just swap out for another character until I get something better for him later. Don't know if I want to spend that much money at the moment. I mean, how much is that? That's like... That's like 23,000 coins if I buy that. Like, buy a pair of those. But uh, there's not that much of a difference between this and the last one. Well, let's get him some armor then instead. I'll get him new boomerangs later. Oh, wrong, wrong room. Wrong building. Take this. Did that snowball actually hit me there, or was that like canned animation? Oh, it does hit- <laughs> it hits me. That's weird. Bear with me, I'm just trying to figure out where the armory is. I think it's here. Oh, it's the the armory is in the same room. There it is. 
I thought the armory was in a separate building. Actually, before I buy that, did I craft anything that I can give him in terms of, like, armour? That's a little bit stronger. Oh cool, that's the thing I just got from that boss fight. So that's what the Corsair's cap is. Yeah, I'll give him that. Why not? Heavy vest. I think he's pretty much in a good place now. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do then. Since I've got a good amount of money, I'll buy those two boomerangs for him, because I don't need to buy any, like, armour for him. Since I just happen to have some good shit. Nope. I accidentally pressed the A button one too many times there. Right, I'll, I'll buy these two. Can I just buy both at once, or...? No, I have to buy them individually. Right, give that to Eric. And let's buy another one. Give that to Eric. Right, there we go. That's a bit of money spent, but I've still got 500,000 left. 50,000 left, sorry. I should probably toss that money in the bank now that I think about it. Yeah, we're pretty. Like, I'm just about to wrap up the stream, by the way. I'm just uh, doing some busy work on here. May as well get this dealt with now before I stop. Wait a minute, where, where's the inn? Right, before I go to the end, let's get some supplies, because why not? Wait, what's that say? Choker of Riddance? A concentrated collar that can stop curses from taking hold? Oh, okay then. Yeah. I love it when I press the button one too many times. I've got so much money. Having at least 100,000 gold squirreled away in the bank. <laughs> There's an achievement for fucking everything in this game. Right, okay, I think I'm done with my busy work. And everybody's healed up, excellent. 
Right, so I'm gonna save and quit here. Let me just go back to the campfire statue. Got a good little bit of progress done tonight. Completed yet another story arc. Quite enjoying this game overall. Like I keep saying, it is a great game. And I'm gonna be stopping here for now. So my voice is like 99% better. I coughed just once tonight and it was just like a small cough. Nothing major. So I'll be able to do some more streams of this in the very near future. I'll probably like keep it to like one a week. Maybe twice a week if I feel so inclined. But I'll probably do at least one session of this a week and then we can eventually get our way to the third act. Which I think we're a few streams away from that now, so... I'm looking forward to getting to the third act of this story and then eventually finishing it. 